Welcome to another one of our Christmas videos for 2023 and in this video we're gonna dart around London and show you places that we haven't shown you before and some of the amazing things that you probably don't want to miss out on if you're coming down to London for the festive period. Now we're gonna kick off this video with this amazing place. Now we have shown you this video before of the Burlington Arcade but not for Christmas 2023 and as you can see they've really gone for it. They've got loads and loads of wreaths hanging up and loads of Christmas trees as well on the floor or well decorated as well as the garland up above. So the Burlington Arcade is one of those lovely places that you want to come and walk through slowly. So if you're not sure where the Burlington Arcade is, it runs from Piccadilly, almost outside the front of Fortnum and Mason, right through to round the back of the Royal Academy of Arts over in Mayfair. And it runs parallel with Old Bond Street. So it's one of those areas, well, you just want to come and enjoy anyway. And yes, that's a shoe shine there who's resident. But also when you do come down, you want to have a good stroll and have a good look in the shops yes it's one of those places definitely to come window shopping and think wow how do other people live as you get towards the center of the arcade you've then got two wreaths put together as an eight which looks rather beautifully done but anyway this is a Burlington Arcade and definitely one of those places you don't want to miss. Also, when you do go down here, if you're coming down to have a look, just have a look at the size of the shops and it just makes you wonder, how many people can they actually fit in there? Yep, probably no more than about two or three and a sales assistant. So the Burlington Arcade, certainly one of those places to come strolling down. Oh, and by the way, they have just opened a new cafe as you walk through here. And the coffee is at reasonable prices and there's a few chairs so you can actually sit right in the middle of the arcade and feel like you're getting in the way of everyone. But then again, if you love people watching, it's something you certainly want to do. Anyway, Burlington Arcade, just off Piccadilly. Definitely one of those Christmas things to come and do this year. Right, let's move on to our next thing. And we're going over to Battersea Power Station. So the regenerated Battersea Power Station opened unbelievably just over a year ago, last October, yeah, October 2022. So they've got the Christmas decorations out in full force. Not only that massive tree outside the front, but also on the inside. Just look how they've really done it beautifully on the inside with all of the Christmas trees and all of the lights around the barriers on the different floors as well. It really does look quite magnificent. But not only that, we're going to show you outside as well with the ice skating rink and also some of the features they've got round there as well, including the trees which have been projected onto the funnels as drawn by David Hockney on an iPad. And if you've watched our recent uh, live stream you will have seen them well quite a few times on there but if you haven't don't worry you're not going to miss out we're going to bring them here as well Now, the other great thing about Battersea Power Station, as you can see, it's never that busy in there. Yeah, it's massive, but it's never that busy. So it's always a great place to come. Now, this is one of the central islands, so you can see uh, the Christmas trees and the lights around there. And this is the other turbine hall, which goes right down and through. And as you can see, they've got all of the Christmas lights around here as well. So it does look pretty spectacular, but make sure you do bounce between the two different halls for the two different views as well. Now in this hall, not only have you got a massive cinema that you can go to whilst you're here as well, plus also they've got something called the control room, which is the old control room of Battersea, which they've turned into a themed bar, which is lovely. And one of the things that I love here is they've got one of these massive boxes, which is hanging. And I think it's, they're probably like that because it's grade two or grade one listed here at Battersea. But what they've done is they've turned it into an LED screen. 
beautiful. Now, outside Battersea, they've got this, which is Glide. And there's the big Christmas tree, which we featured before on one of our Christmas tree videos. And this is a big Christmas tree, as sponsored by Joe Malone, right in the middle of the ice skating rink. So at Battersea, they've not just got one Christmas tree, they've got two at either end of the Battersea Power Station building itself. Now, if you fancy coming ice skating, the ice skating is on until the 7th of January and then this sort of temporary um, ice skating rink then disappears and it completely disappears and it's all open. But not only have you got the ice skating rink, there you go, you've got fun fair rides, uh, you've got uh, Cheerios, so if you fancy some of those uh, and they really do smell quite nice as you're walking around the area. But then as you whiz round, that's the front door and just to prove we're at Battersea, there you go, there's the funnels. Oh, and by the way, the one on the right has lift 109, which pink out the top of it but you've also got this this gingerbread house which has been put up by Joe Malone so I guess if you're going to sponsor the ice skating rink and help make it all happen here then you're going to do something pretty special so they've put up this gingerbread house now this gingerbread house is something slightly different because you can walk into this part here go through and it's an interactive area now to say just to show you some of the things they've got on the outside just to make it look like a gingerbread house it's lovely but then when you go in you can become a gingerbread man yourself there you go so it's all interactive so it's certainly something if you're coming down here you want to either book in advance or alternatively join the queue so you can come and have a go now it is a very small area but as you can see you've got the chance to do all sorts of different interactive things including appearing with your own gingerbread man and come and sit in the corner oh by the way there is a beautiful gingerbread smell around the place as well so well done Joe Malone not only have they sponsored it and made it look lovely but actually that gingerbread house and the interactive part is just a little something extra as well oh and by the way they've got a Joe Malone shop just at the other end of the gingerbread house but it's very small so if you fancy something that's it you just pop in there and you can get your Joe Malone gifts for Christmas by the way no no sponsorship at all but I thought I'd better mention it because actually They've paid to put all this together. But this does look rather good, especially with the trees as well. So not only you've got this lovely gingerbread house and this little, little ginger area, they've also put Christmas decorations like these baubles in front of Battersea Power Station. And if you think you've seen this picture before, you probably have because we featured it in our community post. And that is the lift at the top of lift 109, 109 meters up, giving a fantastic view across London. But as you can see here, they've also wrapped fairy lights around all of the trees as well. So here, you've got the classic view of Battersea Power Station with its two funnels, which you would see as you come to Battersea Power Station from the Thames. But what they've done also this year is they've actually projected onto the funnels here, and you're about to see it in a second, not just snow falling, but also Christmas trees as drawn by David Hockney, the well-known British artist. So just sit back and watch this if you've not seen this before. And this loops around every 10 minutes on the funnels. So the star is lit and you've got a complete Christmas tree with flashing fairy lights as well. Not just on the front of the building, but going up and down the two massive funnels as well, which is fantastic. Now, as I said, this is on a loop every 10 minutes. So you get a chance to see it for quite a few times if you're standing here doing a live stream as we did quite recently. But let's just give you a very, very close up view. So you've got the lovely shining stars and then there you go. They've got the lights twinkling quite nicely there as well, all across the front.
all with the ice skating rink right in front of it, which is lovely. And then, after 10 minutes, the Christmas tree gets erased. Yes, it disappears. And as it disappears, just as a reminder, who it was done by, and it was drawn on an iPad. So there you go, fantastic marketing sponsorship for Apple, and actually they're behind the projection. So well done to them and also David Hockney for the trees that of course certainly caused a lot of talk this year. Now, we're gonna to go to the place called the Outernet, which we have featured before. This is a Tottenham Court Road, right by the tube station. Now we featured them previously for having an amazing mansion house where you disappear through the ceiling. Yes, you might have remembered that video. You can certainly search it. But this year what they've done is they've done a video here on all four walls and on the ceiling as well on this projection of a Christmas scene. Now it is sponsored by a clothing company, but and you'll see that around. But as you look around, you will see different things every time you watch it. So what I've done is I put this piece of video on here twice and it's amazing the different things you'll see in this snowscape. It's absolutely incredible. So sit back and enjoy. And if you think you've missed it first time, watch it a second third or fourth time. See, did you see Father Christmas going across there before? This is absolutely amazing, and I hadn't found this publicized anywhere at all. So yeah, certainly one you don't want to miss out on, so come on down and have a look. Right, now we have featured Covent Garden before in one of our videos, right near the beginning, when Covent Garden first switched on its lights. But we wanted to come back and take in the snow. Yes, so every hour on the hour, each day up until Christmas Day, they have snow coming through. And um, we just happened to be at Covent Garden at one time when the snow was blasting out. So if you fancy coming to take part in that and get your pictures, then please do. There you go. I just wanted to show a person in front. Yes, it's foam, um, but how effective does that look? Snowing in Covent Garden in the middle of the day. Yep, that's the closest we've got to snow so far in London. Our next place is over in the city of London and it's Leadenhall Market. Once again, a place that we've featured before in previous videos, but certainly not Christmas 2023. And this year, they've decided to put this light tunnel in. And well, if you've seen Kenwood and you've also seen Kew Gardens with me, you know how much I love to go on about walking through a lovely light tunnel. So when they've just left a light tunnel here for me to play, I was in it for almost hours. Well, it couldn't have been hours because they probably switched it off and got fed up with me. But just look at the different lights you've got here and also the different colours as well. Fantastic. So this is the front of Leadenhall Market if you fancy coming and having a play there. So not only have you got all the different colours it does as well, but also it goes multicoloured. So you've got all the different colours of the rainbow as well. It's lovely. So here you go, you've got the multicolored lights here, and as you can see in the background, you get massive groups of parties coming over and having a play with the lights as well, which is fantastic. Now, also in the middle of Leadenhall Market, you've got this massive tree, which has got a sort of net of lights on it, which does all different types of displays. And we're just gonna show you a couple here, but if you stand down here for 10 or 15 minutes, you'll see all the different types of displays it does. Now, a word of warning, Saturday and Sunday, it'll be very quiet around here because of course the city of London is closed. So your best time definitely to come down on Monday to Friday. There's a lot more atmosphere, lots of things going on um, and the lights are definitely switched on there. They probably are still switched on on a Saturday and Sunday, but come down Monday to Friday, you certainly get the atmosphere with it as well. So here you've got lovely blue flashing lights going across and then just, there you go, it switches and just look at that. That just gives you an idea of a few of the different types of light things that they do on this tree.
it'll be one of my favourite effects where it's snowing down on the tree. Brilliant. So at Leadenhall Market, not only have you got the tree and also that tunnel of lights, they've also put decorations up across as well, which is something more than they've done in previous years. So this year they've really gone for it with their baubles as well, but also they've set out right in the middle of the street, yep, this place as well. So there's a bar right in the middle. They go like that, an alpine bar with spiced cider and mulled wine and tapped beer. There you go. Just to keep everyone happy after everything closes in the city. Right, next for our attractions, it's the Shard. And the Shard this year has gone on and switched on its Christmas lights. And I promise you, if you can see the Shard from anywhere in London, and actually if you can get quite close to it, but you still get a good view, just watch the different decorations it does from the top, which is amazing. And there's even a snowman decoration, which I didn't capture here, but I caught another time that I went up after shooting it. So there you go, you've got snow falling as well, and you've got all different decorations just coming through. Now, interestingly enough, the viewing platform is just below this. So if you're up there, you're certainly gonna see a lot of the colors up there at night. So a massive well done to the Shard because the Shard is definitely one of those buildings that you see from all over London. So if you're looking in and you're out to the north or to the south and you get a good view across the city, you'll certainly see the Shard lit up this Christmas. So it's one of those things, just look up and see and just take in the beautiful decorations. It's putting on a show for London. So we're in Hanover Square, which is literally just behind the back corner of Oxford Circus as uh, Regent Street and Oxford Street. And we're here because this year, for the first time ever, they've got this, which is Skate West End at Hanover Square. And what they've done is they've turned the whole of Hanover Square into an ice skating rink. So you can get in and get close, but the area, and we've covered Fair enough, we have been to Hanover Square before and they had a big monument in the middle, which obviously they've moved. But now you have a circular ice skating rink, there you go, nice wave, and you go round and round a bar area, which is in the middle. That's once you've gone over the stairs and come down the other side, which is great idea. There you go, and you can walk round. So this is Skate West End, brand new. And, uh, for prices, etc., just Google it and you'll find it. But also you've got bar area inside. So once you've finished skating or if you're watching someone else, you can watch them do it as well. Oh, well, that's a great thing. There you go. You can see here, you've got people with slides. They've got whales and cars and various other bits to help you get around. If you want to, you can go up on the bridge and watch them as well. So welcome, we're in a place that we've never featured before on this channel for Christmas. And this is round the back of King's Cross. And here you are looking at the Regent's Canal, the beautiful reflections and also the barges in the Regent's Canal in the evening. We are just behind King's Cross and this is Granary Square. So we're going to do Granary Square, which is just here, and also Coal Drops Yard as well, which is all set for Christmas 2023. But let's start by having a quick look at what they've done with the Christmas trees here at Granary Square. Like now we have featured Granary Square and Cold Drops Yard in previous video and it's one that we keep publicizing because it is a lovely little area to come to that not enough people know about here in the middle of London. The whole area has been regenerated and there's plenty of places to come and shop and also to come and eat and drink as well. But they really have done it up <laughs> for Christmas. And also, let's go and have a look. Because to be quite honest, Cold Drops Yard always looks fantastic. When it's a done night with all of the lights and everything set up as well. Yeah, look at that, all strung along down here. Now, this is disused railway. So quite a few years ago, they got rid of all the railway sidings going into King's Cross and they turned it into this. 
look at that, fantastic. What a beautiful view down here. Now in the middle of the day, this is a hustling and bustling place with lots of shops and coffee shops open and exclusive labels. But down the side here, you've got lots of little areas that leads up and into Cold Drops Yard, <coughs> which again is a big open space with lots of places to eat and drink. And that's what you've got over there. But at Christmas, wow. So the building you're looking at at top, there is the Samsung shop. It's one of the big flagship stores that Samsung's got. We'll have a closer look at that in a second because they've got the lights going down. But we're here for this, which is the 2023 Christmas tree here at Cold Drops Yard. That is a biggie. So whilst we're down here also, what they have, and they've had for a couple of years now, is they have curling. So if you fancy coming having a go at curling, they've got curling set up here as well. You know, and what you can see above you is the Samsung shop, which I must admit, I'm very, very tempted to go in as a Samsung owner and also fan. Very, very tempted, but no, I'm not. I'm gonna carry on filming. But anyway, so you can come here at Christmas and you can come and have a go at curling on these artificial ice rinks that they've got set up. And we'll go down the other end and have a look. But not only have you got curling, you've also got a bar and everything set up there as well, which is fantastic. And there you go. There's the curling. You fancy having a go? I dare say you get your own brush and scraper as well. Oh, I don't know the technical terms. But anyway, if you fancy having a go at curling, this is definitely the place to come. So this is Cold Drops Yard. All set up for Christmas. But also I noticed just out the back here, got loads more trees set up as well. So really making it quite festive here. And a great place to come and visit. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And there's the view back down that place we showed you earlier with all the string lights hanging down. Very nice. Back on Granary Square, they've got the fountains out in operation. Now these are normally out in operation in full swing during the summer, so people and children can come and dance in them and get thoroughly wet and have a great time during the summer. But what they've done now, look, you've got all, all Christmas lights. Huh? And then as far as you can see, They've got more Christmas trees as well. Here we're right round the back of King's Cross St Pancras Station and just off St Pancras Square. And here you've got a tree filled with neon, all turning autumnal colours. And then right next to it, you have the multicoloured birdcage, which I must admit I've seen quite a few times before, but not at night. And then you've got all of the lights decked up next to it as well. Very nice. And the good news is in the birdcage, there's a children's swing. You've actually got children swinging on it this time of night, which is an ideal thing to have right outside the station if you're bored and waiting for a train. Now, if you want to make a statement and you want Christmas lights, and also you want most of the power of London to disappear, this is probably where it's gone to. This is the Church Hill Arms, which is at Notting Hill down Kensington Church Street. Now, we came here last year for the first time and we certainly wanted to feature it. This has been completely and utterly obliterated in fairy lights. You've got Christmas trees, you've got all sorts of stuff. There you go, you've got snowman at the top there. You've got stars, you've got all sorts of stuff. As you can see, we're just showing you those bits. There you go, you've got a moon. And then on the other side, so you've got the 
bits up the top there as well and then as you come down you've got father christmas in a snow globe they really have gone to town so every year it's one of those most instagrammable places across london and it's the churchill arms over at notting hill gate which is well worth just coming to in the middle of the night just to take your photos so Hope you've enjoyed our Christmas lights and our whiz around London for this year. But what was your favourite? Do let us know in the comments down below. So of the 10 different things that we've featured here, what would you go to first? Yeah, it'd be really interesting to know. So you do use the comments section down below. Now, what I've also done is I put a link up in the top right hand corner to one of the previous videos that we've done, which are our favorite Christmas trees around London. So if you've not seen that video, click on that on the top right hand corner and we'll see you in there. Thanks for watching.